Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers n, n is equal to 1, or n minus 1 is a positive integer. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real numbers, and I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, in this video, we are going to be using the following axioms. Axiom 2 is just the associative law. Axiom 4 tells us that there exists a real number, which we call 0, that has the property that x plus 0 is equal to x, for all real numbers x. And Axiom 5 tells us, for all real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the negative of x, that has the property that x plus the negative of x is equal to 0. Also, our definition of subtraction is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We define a minus b to be a plus the negative of b. And also, we define the positive integers as a subset of the real numbers. And we have shown that the principle of mathematical induction holds for the positive integers. So if we're trying to prove a statement p holds for all positive integers, then we can use induction to prove that. So to prove this theorem, we're going to use mathematical induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So we're trying to prove 1 is equal to 1 or 1 minus 1 is a positive integer. And to prove this statement, all we have to do is show that at least one of them is true. Well, clearly 1 is equal to 1. So, since 1 is equal to 1, we have that at least one of these statements is true. So, we can conclude that 1 is equal to 1, or 1 minus 1 is a positive integer. And so we're done. We have shown that this statement is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So, this completes the base case. Now, let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer. And we assume, with that arbitrary positive integer, we have that this statement is true. So let n be an arbitrary positive integer, and suppose that n is equal to 1, or n minus 1 is a positive integer. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. So really, we want to show that n plus 1 is equal to 1, or n plus 1 minus 1 is a positive integer. And so to prove this statement, all we have to do is show that at least one of these statements is true. And so we're going to show that this statement is true. Now, applying axioms 2, 4, and 5 and the definition of subtraction, we can show that n plus 1 minus 1 is equal to n. First of all, by definition of subtraction, n plus 1 minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 plus the negative of 1. And then by axiom 2, we can move these parentheses around 1 plus negative 1. And then by axiom 5, 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. And then by axiom 4, n plus 0 is equal to n. So this shows that n plus 1 minus 1 is equal to n. But then, since n is a positive integer, and n plus 1 minus 1 is equal to n, that tells us n plus 1 minus 1 is a positive integer. So we have shown that this is true. And so at least one of these statements is true, so we can conclude that n plus 1 is equal to 1, or n plus 1 minus 1 is a positive integer. And Proving this statement was the whole goal of the induction step, so this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, we can conclude by mathematical induction. We have, for all positive integers n, n is equal to 1, or n minus 1 is a positive integer. And 
And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.